hello hello happy holidays we have thanksgiving coming up this week black friday small business saturday cyber monday and last year when i made my gift guide i waited until mid-december and i was like no we're not doing that this year i'm gonna get it up when people are still shopping and getting their deals and want to be here early not to say i won't make another gift guide this year i was thinking either doing a last minute gift ideas or diy i have a few diys i feel like i just need a few more projects to make that video i digress wanted to get this video up for you now holidays going to be strange this year regardless of what your situation is it's probably going to be a little off compared to what it normally is my heart goes out to you as you're spending the holidays alone this year um also if you've lost anyone this year and holidays are going to feel a little bit different once again i'm thinking of you and the best gift that you can get anyone is your time those that you do get to see during the holidays this year, just try to make the moments special. I haven't seen that many people this year, so I'm gonna make sure that the loved ones that I have around really know how much I cherish and appreciate them. And for those that you don't get to see, I mean, who doesn't love a gift? Let's get started. Number one, starting classic, but a little bit new, a little new spin on the classic. Jewelry from a rate. Now, a rate is a by female, for female, fine jewelry company based in New York City. That sentence alone has me sold. They have really fine jewelry in the $500 to $1,000 price point, but they also have really affordable pieces on their website as well. These two rings, each one is both under $100 and they're real gold. I can wash my hands on this. I can swim in this, shower in this, go to the gym in this. I, my jewelry will be fine. My finger will not be green. If you've ever seen or taken notice, I normally have two little dainty chain bracelets on my wrist. Randomly, they both broke this week. Like I was really excited to see how they would all look together with my new birthstone bracelet. So I need to get those repaired. But this, I mean, by itself looks stunning. This is the ruby. My birthday is not in July, but I just really wanted this stone. And you know what? You can shop for your friends, but you can also shop for yourself. This brand, Array, is sponsoring today's video, so of course they gave me a credit to pick out pieces. But when I was shopping, I went over my credit and I just used my own money. I was like, I want this stuff. Merry Christmas to me. And I'm obsessed. So a birthstone bracelet could be a really great idea. Get their actual birthday. If someone got me without my consent a different birthstone, wouldn't love that. Me doing it to myself, totally fine. It's so dainty. Now let me show you. These are the other two bracelets that I normally keep on my wrist. And I would consider both of these quite dainty. Now compare. Do you see how much thinner? It's so delicate. It's so sexy. They have a ton of great products on their site. I chose this really thin, delicate gold ring that I've been wearing on my ring finger and then pairing this gold thin chain ring on my index finger. And right now I don't have acrylic nails at the moment, so my hands just look so invisible and naked. And having really subtle shines on my hands looks so nice. Like they're so pretty i love it Just, mm, mm. these are my first pieces from a rate this was my introduction to the company we love supporting female-owned companies especially made here in america especially made here in the city i mean i'm biased i just have so much pride for new york the pieces come wrapped beautifully in this amazing sort of emeraldy jade box insanely good quality it's low price for really high quality it's all ethically made here in new york and for every piece sold they donate a book to a child in need i mean you can feel good about your shopping so go check out our rate and when you find something you like and you're ready to purchase use code lexi lombard for 15 percent off don't pay full price use the discount go to oratenewyork.com slash lexi lombard for 15 percent off i think you guys are going to love this site a lot okay next on my list i thought it was so clever for this idea like i really think i'm onto something with it and i don't know anyone that shared it before so i came up with giving someone some molten brown products now if you've never heard of molten brown ugh, this is humiliating. You can't see the label because I've used too much of the dark shower gel that it's hard to read. Can you see? This is the Bath & Body brand that is stocked in Buckingham Palace. So the queen has molten brown products in her bathroom. If you go into any bathroom in the palace, you can see this. Okay, so what I'm getting at, if you haven't already connected the dots, 
I felt like you could really do something cute and clever and get someone hand cream or a shower gel, whatever. And then on the card, be like, fit for a queen, you know? Like, make someone feel royal by getting them something from Molten Brown. I saw on Saks they have a 10-pack. Um, like a gift set so you could either give that to one person or you could divvy it up and give it to your teachers All your sisters and your friends because everyone wants to feel like a queen Thought that was so cute. All right My third idea since Mullen Brown is a little bit more mature if you want to go for something a little bit more fun and youthful I think another really great beauty and body brand is Billy of course you've heard of Billy razors But they also do additional products. They have these Waffle Weave Serum Wipes. These are so good. I have like one left. And then they have lip balms. They're called the Super Cell. And they have this dry shampoo, which is called Floof. And it's the cutest little packaging ever. And Billy has a gift set where you can get the dry shampoo, the wipes, and three lip balms. Can we look at this? <laughs> This is so cute. Any teenager, college girl, someone in their 20s would think this is just so cute to have. There are lip balms. This is in fig. I have it on top of a lipstick today. I think it's so fun, so moisturizing, but also just like very casual, cute beauty products. Definitely something that I would love to get. And these wipes, I didn't even really talk about them. They have hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it. So they're infusing your skin with serums as you're using it. And we all have lazy nights that we just we just want to use a wipe adorable little gift set number four is a classic i think i got it every single year when i was in high school and i loved it it's the sephora perfume sampler now in the pack you get a ton of little like mini perfume samples i would get it for christmas and then spend january using them all find the one that i like the best and then you get a ticket that you can bring back into sephora and get a full-size perfume it's such a fun gift because it's a little bit of a game and you don't have to make the choice you know what i'm saying like you're giving someone a full-size perfume but not directly you just get to give them some options and then they can take the ticket and go get whatever they want it's really great i think it's a little bit more personal than just a gift card and a little bit less complicated or risky than just buying someone a random perfume now let's talk kitchen we've all had at least someone in our life that's really taken up cooking since quarantine and i have two cooking products they're two different gift ideas, so it's not a package deal that I think this person in your life would absolutely love. So if you haven't heard of this already, our place makes a product called the Always Pan. If you have not seen this on a YouTube ad or an Instagram ad, I don't even know what you're doing. It is so amazing. So this is what the pan looks like. You lift up the lid and you have a pan that's, you know, a deep dish pan that has a wooden spatula that comes attached. There's like a little, you can see a like ridge right here that you can snap it in. And then it has a steamer basket. You can make stews in here. You can make pasta in here. You can steam vegetables. You can fry an egg. It is just a really chic, versatile pan. I think so many people would absolutely love this. Next kitchen item, <laughs> a little, is something that I got in March this year and has been of such great use to me and it's something not a lot of people own and it's a hand blender. I've had quite the soup love this year. I went through a phase where I was making black bean soup almost weekly and I'm currently in a phase where I make butternut squash soup almost weekly. So you just plug this in and then you... <laughs> I can do it. I have an outlet behind me. And so you put this inside the pot and you can blend up your soups. Now, to go a step further, I think, well, A, I think you should get the KitchenAid one because they're colorful and a lot cuter. I mean, but d don't knock the Cuisinart Smart Stick. This is great. I think this would be really great to get someone in addition to giving them a soup recipe. You could print it or you could write it out by hand on a cute little piece of paper. Along the same lines of that, I think getting someone a nice bottle of alcohol, maybe they love vodka and they're always getting themselves Fedco, but you could get them a bottle of Grey Goose or something and then similarly give them a nice cocktail recipe to go along with it. Sweet. Definitely will get used. Well appreciated. Number seven seems a little random, but I think it's a really thoughtful gift. Giving them a subscription to Babbel. They're a language learning app. It is a program that's designed by people. It's not done through an algorithm and you can choose so many different ways to learn a language. So if you wanted to learn Spanish, you could choose if you wanted to learn like basic Spanish 
business Spanish, history and culture. So you're learning the language through the specific interests that you have. I believe I have a discount for six months. I will have to check to see if it's expired, but I will put it down below anyway. So if you want to get a discount on it, hopefully I can do that for you. And because you're paying for it, they're not going to have to deal with ads. I think it's just really sweet. <laughs> the next gift idea that I want to share, um, if you want to support Small Business Saturday, I have released new designs. This crew neck that I'm wearing right now, you can see it says weird in honor of one of my favorite series on my youtube channel which is my weird series an acronym that stands for what i've been wearing eating impressed by reading downloading and doing and it has a funky little design that i made underneath it and this crew neck comes in black it comes in white with a little blue design and it comes in blue with a little beige design with black text i'm obsessed with these they're so soft it's really great for layering and so if you have any friends who are maybe a fan of my videos or maybe you want to treat yourself, I would love that. I'm also re-releasing previous designs. These are back. I re-released them earlier this year. I figured let's just go hard in the paint. I will have these designs. I will have my old handwritten I like my mind more than my face designs. So I will leave my website down below and you guys can check it out. This is a classic. This is sort of a stocking stuffer or just a casual gift that you're not trying to spend too much on. I don't know anyone that has this that doesn't love it. I don't know anyone that's used mine that doesn't love it. A facial roller, an ice roller. I don't want to do it right now because I have face makeup on, but I used it this morning, drank a little bit last night, woke up puffy. I take this out of the freezer. I roll it on my face after a long night of drinking or maybe I had too much salt last night and I try to find the bone structure again. This is really, really nice. It's really soothing. You can't go wrong with it. Everyone loves it. This next gift I discovered a week or two ago. Super recent. Love this idea. Really been enjoying it since I got it. It is tanning foam with a kabuki brush. I have tried so many different tanning foams. Uh, Coco Neve is great. Now this vegan kabuki brush to blend tanner onto your face is game changing. I've used the mint on my face before. I've used my fingers to put tanner on my face, but using this on my face, it means I can be a little bit more precise with where I'm putting the tanner. So if I just want to put it where my cheekbones are or at the top of my forehead, it just gives me more control over my application. So if you have a friend or a family member that's really into self tanning, I think this could be a really great gift. In my last gift guide, I showed a ton of different candle ideas. Boy smells, diptyque, homesick, canceled plans. There's a ton of different candles. So I didn't want to recommend any in this video. That being said, candle accessories. These are both from diptyque. I have a wick trimmer. It looks like a little pair of scissors, but the base is flat, almost like a little coin. And then when the candle is burned, it has a little crumpled wick up top. You just trim it. The next time you burn it, it will be a lot cleaner. This is definitely a luxury piece along with this one. This is a snuffer. So instead of blowing out the candle and potentially getting smoke around the edges of the rim, you can just lights out, you know? Definitely a frivolous more luxurious purchase but that's kind of the point of gifts right those are all my gift ideas for today thank you guys so much for watching i have a podcast now that i'm hosting and i would love to have you guys listen to it so i will link that down below and thumbs up this video if you loved it i hope you did i put affiliate links down below so if you purchase anything i will receive a small commission i appreciate you guys so much i hope you have the best holiday that you possibly can you know do the best with what you can and i will see you guys in my next video bye